All right, for everybody that's doing third position and working on page four in essential techniques, we're looking at 17, 18, 19, and 20, okay? This is shifting review. Slide your left hand smoothly and lightly to a new location on the fingerboard indicated by a dash. So whenever you see the dash, that means that you wanna shift. If I've written things on your music before that have a dash, then that means that you're shifting, right? So now we can start to see those signs um, as we progress, okay? Uh, be sure your thumb moves with your hand, okay? That should be in bold because we really wanna make sure that our thumb is coming with us. If it hangs out back here, it's gonna be so hard to get the harmonic, okay? That's like an extension and that's not what we're doing, okay? We're doing shifts. So at 17, we have open D to the harmonic on the D string. Rest, then we're going open D again. Harmonic. Rest back to first position, E on the D string, one. Harmonic, then one again. Then open D, harmonic, open D, two, three, four, okay? Now number 18, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna be playing now without rest. So we're gonna have D, harmonic, then E, F sharp, harmonic, then E, harmonic, and D, harmonic, open D, two, three, four, okay? Now, again, I really want to make sure that I'm releasing and gliding like it's said to do. Get on with step, uh, right? So I'm really getting used to sliding and gliding, okay? So you just wanna watch that a little bit closer. Constant movement and motion. Sorry. And I'm doing that to show you where my thumb is, is being placed throughout those exercises, okay? That takes us to number 19. It's the same exact thing, but now on the A string, okay? So we're starting on open A, and we have A, harmonic, rest, and back to A, harmonic. Go back to first, you have B, harmonic, then B, harmonic, open A, harmonic, open A, two, three, four. Now looking at 20, again, same thing as 18. We're doing no rests now. We're working gliding and sliding along the string to get those first position notes into the harmonic. So we have open A, ready, and harmonic. Sorry, then B, harmonic. Then C sharp, harmonic. Back to B, harmonic. Open A, harmonic. Open A, two, three, four. Really make sure that that vibrant, uh, sorry, harmonic sounds vibrant. If it doesn't, you're clearly gonna need to fix that pitch, okay? Don't sit and hang out on a note that's not right. Like, so don't play. Cause that's not right. I told you it should be vibrant. So really listen for that vibrant sound. Okay, and it should really speak and resonate. If it doesn't, you might need to go back and find that harmonic. Make sure you're moving properly, okay? Make sure you're focusing on the intonation. Nice, long bows, okay? Again, we talked about speed and pressure equaling sound. Too much speed and not enough pressure is not gonna get you maybe the sound that you want on certain notes, but for harmonics, it might. Just as that wouldn't really work, here, we need more pressure versus speed on those notes, okay? So really start to feel those changes because that's gonna make you a better musician and a better violinist, all right? Again, you can practice these with smart music to make sure that you're playing in tune and in time and all that good stuff and just for fun, okay? If you need any help, you can ask. Otherwise, good luck.